John Piper with a weekend video and it's Saturday the 4th of May. I'm starting with the Dow this morning. Quite an interesting uh, pattern as I've been outlining for the last few months. Um, this is the end of the corrective fourth wave uh, back in the, the end of, this, of, the two, of last year. Um, they now had a one, two, three, four, all nice and clear. Um, and this is a final rising wedge, I think. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, ABC for four. So one last rally due on the Dow, um, taking us to new highs uh, above uh, 268 something. Um, and that could be the final peak. Um, you know, in any terms, it counts really well. Uh, but we need confirmation, of course. I always look for confirmation. So uh, I'm looking for sell signals once we get to new highs. Um, New highs aren't actually mandatory, it's possible we won't see new highs, but I think they're the most likely outcome. All right, the DAX will not add much to the equation at the moment, um, but it's liable to follow the Dow higher, I think. FTSE, we had this five waves down, um, but we've now got a fairly strong rally off this low where uh, A is roughly equal to C, but it's a corrective move which seems quite likely. This is a bit messy though, one, two, one, two maybe, um, but obviously a move below there would be uh, suspect. All right, turning to gold, um, as I've been saying, this is where I think the money will be made this coming next year, or the next, next year or so. Um, we have the five waves up, not quite showing the full chart here, but uh, five waves up, A, B, C. Um, it's now pretty good in terms of price and time, so we've, you know, we've gone into the green level here between the 50% level and the 61.8% Fibonacci level. Um, in terms of time, we've now had a, a rally lasting uh, two months in the middle of uh, February to in fact May, two and a half months, so that fits in quite well with the um, time relationship with the rally that started. Um, let's have a look at the short term action. We know a double bottom here, so this could be an A, B, C for this final move. This looks promising. We had a one and a two. A good response to the news, it blipped lower. Uh, and then shot up quite strongly. So this could this could be it. We could now be on the uh, upward trajectory for gold. Um, we need to really see five waves. I like to see a pullback, uh, another rally up. Actually, the pullback is probably coming already. So one more rally, five waves up, a bit of a correction, uh, and then off we go. That's a, a, an ideal scenario. Right, we had the low back in uh, December, 31.20 odd. Clear five wave, one wave, ABC two. Now I've got five waves up, one, two, three, four, five, for wave three in the process. So that's a complete five waves. So it's complete, there's, there's no confirmation of a peak, an actual peak at this point. Um, so although we have got the five waves, the fifth wave is still, still ongoing. Um, I should mention that uh, this could be an ABC, A, B, C. I don't think that's, I don't think that's the case. I think there's too much happening to, for that to be um, the, the actual outcome, but it's not impossible, you know, the market will do as it wants to do. I just don't see it crashing down from here in a, in a fifth wave sell-off. I mean, it would give us good opportunities for lower prices, but um, I think we've had enough, enough lower prices over the last year or so, really. Uh, so ideally I want to see a fourth wave, ABC decline, uh, from the eventual peak, and that's not yet confirmed, then one final rally um, takes above 6,000 for a, 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 a doubling, I would think, um, so 100% gain since the uh, December lows is what I would expect. One other factor here which supports the case for a 4 and a 5 by higher prices is that uh, this form here is a 5 wave advance. Um, if it was a correction it would be more likely to be an ABC rather than 5. Uh, I mean I've, none of these things are actually 100%. Um, uh, it's certainly the case that I, I find newer markets like Bitcoin the Elliott wave patterns are often far clearer than you get with more established markets like the Dow or FTSE or whatever. Um, and uh, I think basically as a mass of traders get, in, get involved, um, they, they are using all lot of different techniques, um, fading other techniques. So if they see something which gives signal signal under Elliott, for example, they might fade that because um, they know that buyers will be coming in. Um, and you get all this sort of, not manipulation, but traders taking action to affect the price. Um, and it just distorts the entire pattern. With Bitcoin, that's less so. I'm not saying it's, it's not, I mean, that'll always happen. 
Um, but the wave patterns seem a lot, lot clearer, and we have got these, you know, these clear five wave patterns. Uh, just look at this, this short term action in a bit more detail. Okay, so this is the fourth wave of three. So you've got a nice thrust up, impulses one, two, then a one, two. Uh, this looks like so you've got five up to there, in fact. One, two, three, four, five. So the three could be over there. Um, and we may have one another sell-off due, uh, another rally due. Um, it does get a bit um, tedious, all these toing and throwing. But I say I think we're going to see 6,000 before this is over. Maybe a fair bit harder than that. Depends on, on, on whether it uh, builds up ahead of steam. But, but I, well, I, don't, I think we have higher prices over the next few weeks. Um, and uh, after that, we should see a correction. All right, that's all for today. If you find that, find that interesting and useful, back to the report uh, on Tuesday. Have a great weekend, holiday weekend, and bye for now.